Fuck it up. We are recording. We are live for week nine of Mad Delicious with Sam, Cal, and Georgie. Delicious. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. What's up, Good boys? Good evening. Not much. Delicious. Well, how is your Everybody trip? Everybody hears me, right? Yeah. Nice. Can you hear me? Can you hear? You can hear us, right? Yeah. 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 I, I can, can hear all of you. I'm considering was- getting my last kills on Fortnite because the season's about to end in a couple hours. I'm considering doing Shit. that on this Zoom call. <laughs> no, you gotta do I know it. Sam would say don't. Cal would say do, but I'm not gonna do. I don't. Nah, think I, I haven't played in a minute. I've been playing Fall Guys. You know about this game? <laughs> I, Fall Guys. I've heard from Mac. <laughs> Fall Guys is Zach. so it's so simple and good. You're basically just MXC. You remember that show? Or huh. like, like the obstacle course, but you're like a jelly yeah. bean, and you just run these obstacle courses, and you got to qualify each round. It's really good. It's it's pretty big right now, huh? It's fucking huge, dude. People are into it. Yeah, Max. Mac was like very ecstatic when he won. Like yeah, you the get first the cr- time the crown, bro. The crown. Yeah, he said the- it was not. It was not easy to get his first. Win. It's not. Is it, is it one of these free games? No, I think it's like twenty bucks, but it's worth it. See, I like this. I like the way that things are going. I like. I like the idea. I like the idea of a twenty dollar game or a free like Fortnite game or whatever. Yeah. They yeah. definitely still well, get you. You know, you you end up paying, but well, what's good dope? Know. What's dope is now it's like pay to play. How it used to be when you could just buy like the levels and shit. That doesn't really happen anymore. And like with Fall Guys, it's so simple of a game, right? It's literally you just run to the end of a level, and it's like you and fifty other people, and it's fuck. It's just fun, and it's difficult. Huh. Sounds it's, cool. It's just difficult based off of. Here, I'll share my like. Is it a shooting it a shooter game? Like you run to the end with guns and shit, or? No, it's just running. You literally run. What? I can pull it up yeah. and show you what it's like, but I don't know if we'll get like... George's going to trip. He'd love it. Bro, George, I've it's, seen, it's, it's my new crack. It's the greatest get high and just spend hours like playing <sighs> games. I wish I could. Yeah. Man. I get like an app. If I get an hour to play video games, it's like. True. Holy shit. What's been going on? How of... was your trip up north or wherever you guys went? Your little we secret? Went, we, we went, went south, south, actually. South. Yeah. We, we went we, to San Diego, we, Ramona. We told everyone we were going north, but <laughs> that was just to throw them off the scent. Oh, yeah. How was it? We actually went to San Diego wine country. It's really beautiful there. I've never it's been. It's fucking awesome. And we didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be gorgeous. so high up. I didn't know we were going to go into the mountains, you know? That was rough. Yeah, we were like in a very cool. It was mountain, deserty, deserty mountain area. Airbnb. That's sick. It was like a, a dog owner. So they had all their stuff set up for dogs. It was, it was sick, cool. dude. It was sick. Yeah. It was yeah. a good time. We drank and smoked a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. We, we had just some kicked very it, man. Strong weed. Yes. We had, uh, we had some. Uh, some uh, He's got, yo, the Turf Stars was on point, too. Chapo's Churro. Dude, we... Chapo's Churros. Woo! That, that was the name, the the name is yes. Chapo's Oof. Churros. I just imagine this, like, mm-hmm. you know, fucking cartel dudes, fucking like secret crop of herb or something. That's like the exactly. I don't know. Just the name is so it's epic. Like, what's that? It's like it's, oh, that's Chapo's Churro. That's one of those <laughs> issues up north. It was right that now kind of all those wildfires, all those grow operations are getting torched out. Fuck. Damn. Uh, yeah. Shit, uh, that's the not fires. They're going pretty crazy. They're spreading very it's fast. Nuts, so have, did you see the fire tornado headline? No. No. All right. So it's never happened in nature yet, but it happened where it's like the the heat, like the cloud shit. You know how like rain falls, yeah. humidity. So what happened was the temperature was raised so quickly because of this wildfire that a fucking wind came and made a legitimate fire tornado. And there's a video of this Jeez. flame just spinning. Whoa. It's, it's that sounds gnarly. way too uh, 2020 for me right now. Uh, it's, it's biblical. It, it's that's, on. Uh, it's like uh, Moses. It's on, yeah. It's they're, on they were like guided by a pillar of fire. Cow, the triple scoop. Holy shit. Triple scoop yeah, gelato. Right now, tri- right now, triple scoop. Sam, triple scoop gelato. It's the triple the scoop gelato. I haven't and been smoking much. I, I got to be honest. The kids are on something here. <laughs> it's so good, man. I ate some edibles the other day. That's about as much I've done in the past two weeks. Since yeah. <laughs> I haven't really been doing much. I've been dealing with this cat situation, and then 
I'm so mentally just bored. I'm doing two oh, days man. and it's killing me. Like I'm actually like Damn, tearing like muscles. I'm tearing tearing muscles from my body at this point. Are you get are you getting cut though? Are no. you are you feels like a lot of to... people are are like act like it's it's just over, you know? It's just over. Well, I mean, so work so basically both of my jobs are back at full swing and it's I figured I'd be busier with them. But because nobody knows what the fuck's going on, I gave up some shifts with the security job to open up spots for my other job. And now it's like I have lost shifts on both ends. I'm like plat. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it's like two days a week here, two days a week there. Damn, dude. It is what it is. But yeah, yeah, I got no real complaints. And Miami's crazy. Miami sounds like it's a whole other situation. Like What's what's going on in Miami? Everybody I know is getting it literally. Like yeah. fucking, it's nuts. It's crazy. Uh, I'm fucking. My friend just lost two uncles. Literally, two two of his uncles died in in a matter of two weeks. Damn. Rest I'm just gonna peace. grow my beard out like crazy long for the first time ever, and just. And that was in Venezuela, though. That was in Venezuela. Uh, um. I'm gonna hurt But dude, like still, it. it's just not. I don't know. It's just different. I don't no know. No Corona. Crazy. This episode is 45 minutes of happy shit. And nothing else. It happened. And it nothing, already happened. But it has happened. All right. Well, that's the end of You're that. You're going to grow your beard out? Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm see? Grow it's it over, really guys. Gonna moisturize this is exactly it. what I'm talking about, though. Like, yeah. this is literally. Well, so I can't this keep... is what's happening. It's just real. It's like everyone's fucking over. Shut the fuck up, George. See what I mean? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. No more Corona talk. Please. You know what I'm going to. You know what I'm, I'm already at the verge right? of breakdown. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't even look at my he's phone. Like, he's Sam's like it. trying to like talk about his beard and like. Yeah, let's talk about anything about- but the fucking coronavirus. <laughs> I'm deleting this whole episode. That's it. See y'all on a Go editing month. the whole chunk out. Edit the no, whole no, no. video. No, no, no. Edit I'm the hitting. whole video out. Zero Jesus video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grow my beard really long because I've never done that before. And I can't grow hair. Hey, have you guys gotten that that ad, that Facebook ad, um, ab- like about like how to grow your your beard better it's like advertising for people who can't grow beards um oh like the, the, the to oils help your and shit self. well i think it's like some kind you know of like, i don't get any um, rake thing but uh the ad is oh, so funny it was so like that. here look this is the ad that i got and Hold it's on, like it targeted the wrong audience but it was very funny to me <laughs> bro who is that guy it's not even a fully connected beard. What a terrible it model. Really, like, they it looks like the beard it. is fake. It looks like a fake beard, right? Dude, so I was just talking it's to a like... friend back home who got hair reconstructive. Like uh, they took hair from his ass and put it on his head, the follicles. And he has a, mm-hmm. he was bald. He was the first of us bald. And now he has this beautiful George Clooney flowing hair. And I'm like, what the fuck's really? going on here? His butt hair? Is... Are you thinking about it? You think nah. about it, Halsey? No, nah, I shaved my, I shaved my head when I had hair. I'm like, I've been shaving my head for almost a decade now. So that's because you knew it was coming, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. So once I lost it on the sides, I was like, I'm fucking out of here. I have here. a lot of friends. I have a few friends. Yeah, plus, sides like, first. I don't think, I don't think I'd want hair. I'm so it makes to sense feel- to move that direction, you know, when they're like, all so, right, might so as what well. you're saying is what you're saying is if you knew that you could just transplant your butt hair to your head and you're guaranteed a full flowing <laughs> thick head of hair, I don't think I'd like, nah, it. I'm good. Yeah, Yo, really? Like, Why not? I mean, I'm sure it doesn't look it. like the, butt hair, the, you the know, heat, I'm sure it's like of it. Because like one thing I truly love about having a shaved head is sleep. does it look like butt hair? I don't sleep. No, it looks like real hair. It's just a follow. Oh no, yeah, yeah, it changes. Yeah. But, um, so it's it's like it ends up looking like your normal hair. Your, like I don't get hot head of hair, right? I don't get hot though. Like I can just walk around and like I'm losing. Yeah. Like, when I sleep, nice. I don't get hot at all ever. That's, that's like true. the opposite is true when you have really long hair. That's like the worst part. Yeah, you can't, like, I would rather yeah. be too cold than too hot any day of the week. Jack, because like you can warm yourself up, cooling yourself down is like I don't know. I'm, I've always said the opposite, but as I've grown older, I start to feel this a little more. Like I, as a kid, I would be like, hell no, I'd much rather be hot, way too hot than way too cold. And until recently, I would have probably said the same thing. Do you like, I'm, I know though? I'm rare. I know a lot yeah. of people don't do that. Yeah, in Miami, we have we, it's like you're raised on central air. Yeah. See, yeah. Th- I was talking to my boy Not Caleb here, but... the other day. Is like the the societal yeah, yeah. wealth is central air for me 
Like I've never had it. I've always had window units, and they just that suck. shit's amazing. They suck dick always. They, window units yeah. are the biggest fraud ever. They don't like get a, you cold. We have a couple. They yeah. work, but it's just in the. It's just one room. It's yeah. like I like don't. Se- when you walk into I still a house, have a hard time understanding that. <laughs> and there's central air in my brain. I'm like, this is the this is the bourgeoisie of old. Yeah, <laughs> these but are the, I these will are the say bougie it, fucks. It, Miami was like just, that's more or how less it, it's normal. Norm, yeah, in Miami, no, like absolutely most, the norm. almost that's everybody. Has you guys got central more or less air. nothing, bro. I don't know anybody that doesn't have AC in Miami. Yeah, even no, in like I mean, central AC every part of every corner of Miami, everybody's grandma, everybody's everybody. Yeah, at least yeah, that yeah. or 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 a set of seven or eight fans strategically placed and they're bad at like one set one honestly set. i gotta be honest people down there are bad about it they like keep their houses like crazy cold you're like yeah you're Six, freezing 68? cold go walk into I a random it. house it's so hot in miami like most of the time and you walk into any house it's like 60 degrees yeah <laughs> that's too cold like i would on. literally you're die like, i would die i would die there i mean I you need a sweater but like it's tough i don't mind the heat and one thing when I'm like running and shit is like I could just chill and I get I get cool real quick. And I think it's because I don't have hair. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. that helps a lot. Yeah. Like, sure. For sure. Like, easy. It's also genetic. Like I just sweat a lot naturally. Cal sweats a lot. Time. Really? Much more in Miami. Oh, dude. I don't peg you. Yeah, but sweater, out here it's Cal. just so much drier. True. I'm lucky out here, but I really am. At a Llama Beach show, Cal, Cal could create, like, <laughs> he could literally <laughs> fill a cup for somebody. Ugh, right? Yeah, no, I would, like, unironically Ugh. ask people for paper towels. Or, or Actually, I can't talk much shit. I hung out with the towel. My bad. When, when I was heavier, I would sweat I would sweat eating. And that's when I was like, okay, I'm o- I'm overweight. <laughs> like That's, that's normal. Like, yeah. I, you I sweat when you I eat, mean. bro? Well, yeah, if you're eating some Cal, you're anyway. skinny as shit. No, no, no. All the time. <laughs> I'm telling you, Cal li- literally oh like walks on stage and Sweat. and he's like, should I just change my shirt already? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. who just <laughs> changed one to get on stage, right? Soggy ass <laughs> down. One t- I'm not I making sweat. that up. I'm not. I couldn't. One time, I sweat on the trackpad of the of the Mac that I were we were using to trigger sounds, and I couldn't trigger the sound. Oh it like no! Ruined, and I I freaked out and knocked over the ironing board that we were using as a table <laughs> okay, for like a, the computer and the ironing board. And the NPC fell on the pool deck that we were playing on and smashed and like to pieces. You guys misplay. That's a good little yeah. point. You guys misplaying music live. Bro, we were just yeah. starting to we get back on it. Yeah. We were we had just started doing like a little, say, we had yeah. just done a string of shows in LA. Like we mm-hmm. had just gotten our new show vamped since we had basically come here from Miami like yeah. 5 years yep. ago. So yeah, we yeah. definitely we had plans, dude. And we have all and this we, like yeah, we had plans, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and I love I love playing live. It's really a lot of fun. It's a, dude, so it's I hated expression. I hated live music for so many years and then No the, shit. My dude like honestly I so I, I burnt myself out on it, like the Bonnaroo circuit, just like following Kings of Leon around. Like wow. I, saw, I saw Wolf Mother seven times. I couldn't tell you why. They released one fucking album, and I watched it. Like I burnt That's myself funny. out. So Damn. after this, um, I started going again these past couple of years, and I got kind of fell back in love with it on like kind of new music i'm not a hundred percent familiar with i prefer going to because there's there's a a feeling i lost where you know when you listen to a fucking song and you don't know it and it turns into something else and you're like whoa and like you just get that warm feeling of fuck yes i get that a lot with music i'm not a hundred percent familiar with and that's like Mm. that's what it is for me baby that's that cream cheese feeling well yeah it's kind of like when we were younger and we were on that rush and on that like you know, try to get, uh, this is what I feel. It feels like <clears throat> I could, st- I mean, I st- could still listen to that music now and, and, and everything, and, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't like hit me the same yeah. because it was newer back then, mm-hmm. you know, it was, it was still fresh back then. And when it, when it's fresh, right. man, that's probably part of it, dude. When, when you yeah. find that, like, I don't know, I definitely, you know, I I've gone through phases of styles of music and now the shit that I listen to, I probably might have liked it before, but I wouldn't love it like I love this shit now. Like I don't know, like Krungbin or some shit like that. Instrumental, just funk-driven yeah. rock kind of stuffy, fucking. Yeah. 
We got some shit. That like, feeling uh, weird. It's you, that guys... feeling of being like sort of excited about new music. It's definitely very rare now. Yeah, so, and do what? So speaking it out. Well, there's one of the Killers and Bright Eyes just released out new albums like yeah i haven't listened to it no shit dude the killers one it's fucking good i haven't gotten through bright eyes because bright eyes is bright eyes and i'm just like (laughs) connor oberst like you still shouldn't be complaining bro you made it let me get a fucking positive song please how many girls are breaking your heart bud yeah still to this (laughs) day and he's back in omaha nebraska because of coronavirus and he releases his album so it's like here we are back to stage one you know who yeah. else is dropping an album on Friday? Llama Beats. Llama Beats and A&T. Oh, Friends of Monsters. Shit. Friends of Monsters. Is Shout out to my dropping. little bro. Hey, I love you, A&T. You're a fucking, you're a goddamn winner. We're having him on here sometime. That's what we said. He's he literally was like, I don't I don't know. I got to be kind of like be ready yeah. for that. He He's think, pod he shy. Said, He's pod, I, shy. pod shy. I think, yeah. uh. I mean, over time, I'm sure he's caught the vibe, but like, I think your energy might have had a little part in that. My energy? He's probably like, feels like he's going to be interrogated like a police interrogation. Like, what the fuck am I going to interrogate him about? Hey, nah, you like music too? Fucking yeah. cool. Well, yeah. Cool. Welcome to fucking whatever the name of this goddamn podcast is. Dude. Welcome to Mad Delicious. Just yeah, chill so out. I told okay, him, man. we really Stop don't know. Yeah, we don't have out. any, like, we're just hanging out. Uh, no. I've been fucking um, like true crime in it, like crazy, bro. I bought yeah. a, check really? this out. Yeah, so basically, I got to drive to pick up my homie Brett. I think you guys might have met him, but I've been doing the the parks thing, you know, the parks and shit. So I'm like, I got to drive to a fucking national park. I'm like, I'm not taking any fucking chances, boys. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm not oh taking. God. I'm not getting touched by no windigos, no skinwalkers. I'm taking fucking names. Yeah, man. don't just don't stay away from the staircases, bro. Just stay bro, away. From also, the like, um, I've been. I, do, I was just telling you about it in the text today. The missing four one one, bro. So I have no idea what that is. Okay, so basically it is what four one one. The missing four one one. It's a YouTube. You can watch it on Hulu or on YouTube free. But basically what happens is kids go missing in these parks, kind of similar to what we talked about a few weeks ago. But kids oh, go no. missing on these parks, but, like, they their bodies reappear, like, years later, completely untouched. Like, everything is pristine. Like they This is vanish. what I was talking this, about. That's yep. like the staircases, right? Yeah. Yep. It's like this is this is documented, and then they Separate finally – from the staircases. This, this documentary, basically, when the um, Freedom of Information Act came out – they approached the national park people and were like, "Hey, how much for a li- uh, an accurate list of how many people have been gone missing in your parks?" And they're like, "That would cost 1.4 million dollars, and it's over 1,600 people." Like, yo, 1,600 people. One, 1600? To find out the number would cost that to much fi- money. To find an accurate number, there. How do how, what? Their guesstimate is 1,600 people have gone missing. That's the low to get Since an accurate when? number. So what I have time a, in like 50 years. So it's from, I mean, it's a ton of people no matter what time period. I would yeah. think way more, bro. Right? But Wouldn't that's the you thing. Think yeah, way so more. That's, that's why it costs so like much money. It's 1600 To go in and open all those cold case files. And I was going to say, let's have this talk. I want to talk about this. What what would cost a million dollars? I'm, I'm not trying to say like, oh, it wouldn't cost a million dollars. Well, I'm wondering what, doesn't like, what, would, what would cost a million dollars? In, in that like doesn't federal surprise me so much, actually. Like park ranger I'm just employees wondering. Are, are there federal employees? No, like, it's, it's like you'd have to... That type of stuff costs a lot of man money. Man hours, document. right? Man yeah. hours. It's about finding. They, they would have to find and like identify and get the paperwork from all of their national offices all yeah. over the country. And because um, they're all basically. Of county, all these. Yeah. Missing people based. reports. Yeah, yeah. For 50 years. Um, that would take a lot of like. It's like they're, you're adding yeah. up like exponential sort of compounding stuff staff time essentially so it adds up and also it's government jobs so yeah but it's cra- what's crazy is it's like there is no explanation and the whole point of this documentary is the end is like these kids go disappear like you turn around for one minute and they're <laughs> gone and then they have like bloodhounds and all these search and rescue things like basically the park rangers are there for search and rescue and they spend you know three months looking for this kid there's no sign of him whatsoever and then they like he reappears years later on a place they searched 
you know, like in like plain is plain sight. Alive? Or... No, a well, whole... some, some of them have yeah. been alive and the kids will say like they were talking to a bear and it's like what? just weird shit and they're being given berries and it's just weird. Yeah, yep, that was that was the thing with the guy, the goat man or whatever, the skin, what? the skin, what, the skin walkers and skin all walkers, whatever. Yeah, dude, there's a bunch of stories in that in that. So, so once again, so people understand where what we're referring to. There's a the there's Reddit a Reddit thread. thread about uh national forest rangers that um basically talks about it's this one guy that's in the F, a ranger and he says that it's basically like uh a, he, he compiled a bunch of stories that he's heard and he's heard, heard people tell themselves and he he's even heard like secondhand through through other people but a lot he's seen and, and witnessed or seen people that he's like actually talked to the people and had them tell them the stories, but it's a bunch of crazy shit. Basically a bunch of crazy shit happens in these forests. That sounds like it could be even fucking alien related or like creatures that we don't understand live out there um, amongst us. Like the whole abominable snowman thing could actually be based on some real shit. Is oh. I also saw something recently, which we didn't bring up, which I'm just randomly remembering. I don't know who brought this up. Cal, I think we talked, you might've heard this, but the thing about the Chupacabra, did you hear this? No, chupacabra. Fuck. I don't want to go. I don't want to be wrong, but the little blood sucking. I'll, I'll be short about yeah. it. Apparently, there's some like if you want to look it up. I would love to look it up to fucking figure it out. I can't remember the exacts, but there's like a theory behind why, why, what the sightings of the chupacabra are, and it's that it came from somewhere. Like they came on, they like came from another country if, through ships or train or planes or I don't, bro. I can't remember this. I. The shout out, shout out to the triple scoop country. gelato because I can't really <laughs> where did it come <laughs> from. What, con- what country? What country did it come some, from, man? Some Latin American. Can you are you, a de- are you looking a it different up, Latin Sam? American yeah, country? Um, uh, apparently this is real uh, shit. Sam, now, like, where did it come from? They're saying that this animal, this there's this animal that people that that's what the chupacabra is, and it's oh, uh, it's like yeah. an exotic animal. Yeah. So basically, no. apparently, there. This is the most recent thing, and it says that it is a, a subspecies of coyote that has evolved with severe cases of mange, and the reason it is said to drink blood is because the plasmus of other animals' shit gives it, like, sustenance. It's how it feeds. Damn. So they found they have an actual, like, chupacabra. But it's, it's, it's like it's a coyote from another country or some it shit. It says it's it was not some... like it's not like the the mythical being it's just right. like it's just a subspecies of diseased coyote <laughs> i guess yeah. what i'm getting like, at is that there's knows? it's just who exactly well, who so knows what, so what creatures say, there are out there that we don't know about okay really. so i was gonna ask what so the children that are disappearing in the national parks that's like a cryptid story like uh sort of like some kind of like mythic magical not necessarily magical but some unexplained sort of well so there's with the animal or with the documentary on the missing 411 is like there's so many stories of it but they mainly focus on these five ones where it's like uh-huh. in a 10 feet gap from this dude's granddad and the kids walking back and the parents are in view of this picnic table like the kid goes missing right and like yeah, so the, creepy man. it's not it's not a case where it's like imagine we're all walking in a field together and there's like 20 feet between us and someone in the middle of us goes missing and no one notices and like right. it's something where it's like you think that we could just holler a name and like they show up or like reach out but the crazy thing is and is then they like, find them like yeah they, they spend a good a good amount of time like and resources investigating like the entire area like the massive square foot of this park where the trail is and all this where shit. is this where where does this happen uh the main one is in illinois uh state park i forget the name of it okay but basically what happens is that what happens is there's these boulder fields where it's like you cannot fucking traverse up this thing unless you are a master climber like literally like we couldn't do it in the our primes like you just can't you gotta like you're g- actually got to have to get past some climber. crazy shit so the one kid re-emerges at the top of this thing and it's like cougars can't even back up this thing a cougar couldn't pick him up his clothes are completely fine and inside out and he's just all of the clothes he has are basically to a t where they were when he just aliens fucking aliens have you seen the new like have you seen the unsolved mysteries have you seen the new unsolved mysteries yes yeah, on netflix i watched some of them. two yeah. things 
two, two, two that I got. I've been dying to talk about this shit. So there's one fucking a bunch of people at, on one day in a, in a town somewhere that they all literally like multiple people that don't even know each other all got abducted the same day. And there's saw, like multiple witnesses and like, right. it's fucking scary. <laughs> yeah. Cal and I, this is why I want to bring it up. Remember that other one that we saw where like, basically there's an unsolved mystery of a guy that disappears and all his homies in the fucking unsolved mystery show are like being interviewed right, yeah and they sound so fucking suspicious it's crazy yeah, it's like it, the most but... sus shit ever ever Absolutely. it's like these guys all you're just watching unsolved mysteries like what it, like uh, how, I think how I are these guys it. arrested? These guys yeah. all yeah. killed Bro. this guy. Like well, clearly, yeah. they did it together. No, they're all like shitting their intense. pants, answering questions. Like they sound like they're like answering cops' <laughs> interrogations. Yeah. Like they're freaking like out. Years. So that's like that's one years of the later, things, something like that. That's one of the things with the missing four one one. Whereas like all of the park rangers that search for these kids in the Illinois forest, and it happens like over the course of forty some years. There's different park rangers that come in and get interviewed, but then like a journalist goes in and catches those guys talking shit like oh yeah the parents killed him like that's what they think but they're saying something else so there is this margin for like is it human you know could this just be like an elaborate well um, yeah that's what i was gonna say i was like did they did they investigate the families i mean yeah and like that's the first thing you gotta ask it's like that's some fucked up shit yeah but the thing it happens it happens happens. the thing that they can't explain is the, the the math and the science of it where this kid's shit was found well, none yeah, of, they find none of the those kid. people. Was he the, alive? Was this kid, kid alive? No, no, the kid was dead. Like, but here's the thing: his body was not decomposed. It was like completely preserved. It was like he died. I've heard this is that the thing, These are the things I heard. Like, so it, like, it's like they were frozen or pass. something. Yeah, right? like five years pass, and he just reappears, and he reappears at the top of this place. But it's like the the boulder thing you climb up, or where the trail leads up to the top of it because it's a popular like tourist attraction view spot. This might be that same story. Yeah, it probably, it it might, it might be, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's like where he was found is like, you can't, a child, no reality could walk up where that was found. And he wasn't injured. Like he fell off the tourist spot down into it. He was just placed perfectly in plain sight from a place they'd searched for months. So it's this really unexplainable shit. And like, you know, before they released the later in the um, documentary, before they say like uh, the journalist it's exposes the guys fuck. for success, suspect stuff. It's like no one can actually determine like what this is. And it's happening it's crazy. across the like there's a picture. I'll pull it up here. Let me share my screen with you all real quick uh, of all the park disappearances. Um, hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Um, as in, yeah, there's image. a there's a lot of crazy stories in that Reddit thread. If if you weren't listening to that last podcast, I would I recommended it, and I still do. You uh, should read it. Go. It's just you can get lost in this story. It's like multiple page, multiple posts long. It's crazy. Uh, so many crazy stories, dude. Here, I'm gonna share this. So this this is like all of go. these vanishings. This is how many there are. I like. All unexplained, similar situations. Bodies turn up preserved and should be decomped, but they're not. It's Look how many insane. are in fucking California, bro. Dude, I know. It's yeah, weird, yeah, right? In yeah, that there's, one there's spot a hot right spot. there. Sequoia, like, yeah, one, one in Canada. We're just going to chalk that number up. <laughs> as wrong. <laughs> That's definitely wrong. It's but, a scary um, map. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not cool, and it's weird. But you know, it is one of those things where maybe it is something like uh, I, I kind of deep dove on it, and there's like fairies. Everyone, you know, one popular theory is fairies because they're more of spirit beings. They walk in between realms and shit. But like, like frozen, they, mur- they murder people. Well, is no. Like so apparently, what it is is like they can shape a, a real fae is like this thing where it's like it's so good with words and language that you have to be very cautious of what you say to it and how you answer it because it like it can trick you into these deals where you're now gone for seven years you know it sounds it, like the movie frozen 2. i've never There's seen some frozen. tumblr which, shit, which i've Sam. seen 275 know, times doc- in the, the last two weeks voice. i think so the documentary then 
says it's actually what it is is fairies at the end well, of it well no 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 no. The, the documentary is all about just how unexplained it is the fairies thing is <laughs> a deep right. dive i was fucking but there's it's top, like top mystery two hour long documentary i'm not kidding this is literally <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's fucking this is literally last 18 minutes we about. think it's fairies oh, yeah yeah, I don't know, man. You it's just creepy, never, bro. It'll care, never, and you'll never watch it. So it'll never not whatever. be creepy. You're lost. The unexplainable shit, you know. Of course, yeah. No, I mean, I'm into whatever explanation anybody wants to give <laughs> to those things. Fairies, bro. So I, I'm into it. I'm not. Look, it's funny. It's it can be funny. I don't think I don't, it's fairies. I don't. Uh, I don't need to make. It doesn't mean I'm making fun of you. It. What if it's like idea. witches? What if that shit's real? What if witches are yeah, real? Man. I would. That would be scary as fuck. It'd be scary. Well, there are witches. You know? There's a whole. I. You know. The the idea of what a witch has been painted to be is based off of like actual witches, like which still exists. It's just like like the wicked people that religion, wicked or yeah. like pagans or like yeah, right? Yeah, I guess witches in the sense of the very negative, like puritanical idea of which well that's like we're you're, you're being scary. unfair to actual witches Cal. yo until you float no, me, I know, until you I, float I me up an, and turn I me into a mouse you. you're not a witch i the movie that, that <laughs> what is that movie where they turn like is it it's the witches right? the witches yeah where they turn the kids into mice damn that bro they're making a sequel to that they're making a sequel to that that scene That's such a good so movie. Uh, dude, you remember? I so remember scary. watching that in watch school. It. When they turn the kid into the mouse or a rat or whatever? Yeah, they turn him into the mouse and then they try and eat him and like they all turn into these creepy things. It's like, yeah. That shit's crazy. Yeah. Good bro, movie, they're they're bro. actually yeah. making Ahead a of its time. Ahead <laughs> like, of its time. Cal's having a fucking PTSD I from can't. it. Yeah, I don't know why we watched it so much when I was a kid and I was. Did so we talk scared. about did we talk about the time that Cal watched Midsummer? Yeah, we talked about this, right? I don't want to talk about that. Bro, right. hold on. I want to hear about this. Did scary. we talk about Oh, we didn't talk scary. about this on the podcast yet? I'm sure we would did. remember. I can't remember. Yeah, we did. I've never seen Cal so You didn't scared. like it, bro? He, I loved he it. Was, it was so he was in, oh, he was in. Oh, we talked about it. We talked about movie. hereditary. Movie. That was hereditary. My bad. It was hereditary. Yeah, we talked I about seen hereditary. Some, I still haven't we seen it. We talked about all this. I saw Midsummer alone. This week is good, guys. Sorry. Bro, you know what? You know what? I don't like too many scary movies, but. Sometimes I do. Occasionally. Yeah, you, know, you know what's a really good movie that I thought was going to be dog shit? What? Bumblebee, the Transformers movie. Oh. Yo, see, that's it. That's it. Yo, I'm telling you, Cal. I didn't think it would be. The first, it, no, dude. The freaking. Is this the first... our first paid advertisement? <laughs> no, this? no, no, no. I wish, bro. <laughs> Michael Bay money. That'd be so Let's much. Go. Michael Actually, Bay called pa- Palsy. Yeah. But no, hey, so man, basically, I, I went into a favor. <laughs> I went into it thinking it's going to be a joke because the last like five fucking Transformers movies are just so bad. But they start yeah. this one on the war on Cybertron where it's all of the Autobots versus all of the Decepticons and it's <laughs> fucking badass. And you never see that. And <laughs> that I was like, epic. yo, yeah, it's just, it's a good, guys, we're in week, Throwbacks. we're in Throwbacks. month nine of quarantine. You know, I'm going to see. That's a good, all... hey, are you got to take nine months yeah. already? We're at nine? You. Something like that. Hey! Oh my hey, God. what are you talking what? about right now? Talking about what are you talking? Hey, you know what we were drinking the other day? A couple of Coronas. That's what we were drinking the other day. <laughs> what? Oh, Cal shit. and I were like, yo, we're going to need three cases of beer for this trip. And everyone's like, you guys are crazy. Yeah. And, and actually, beer. I was. I'll say, I'll be, I'll be, on, I'll be like, I'm not going to throw Cal fully under the bus. But Cal backed me up, which shout out to Cal. I was like, sure, whatever. Let's I do it. I was like, three cases minimum. And we're gonna go beer pong crazy and all this shit. <laughs> and beer everyone's pong. like, stop, dude, we don't need it. I'm like, we got to the Airbnb. I'm like, we gotta order some more beer first. First and foremost, let's get we had we had two cases. We're like, I'm like, let's get a third at least for now. <laughs> he was like, we better do that now. Dude, we can take care of it, you know. We got we got through a case <laughs> and a half of that shit. That's all that's it. Did. Yeah, but we had a ton of wow. liquor. We did have a ton oh, of liquor, gonna, a ton say, of amazing weed, which we didn't finish. The Chapo's Churros was a goddamn punch to the face, dude. That's, that was like quite the treat. And then there was a, yeah, yeah there was a lot of intoxicants. So much weed. Yeah, you guys broke the Durban poison. Ooh, also. I can't, the Durban like, poison. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I can't get high. Like, I, I was really enjoying smoking weed at the beginning of this shit, but now it's like. Could I got something that'll work, high. I bet. 
Yeah, well, I mean, I can get high, but it's just like I'm just sitting here alone, and I'm like, I just want to fucking eat peanuts, you know? It's like, what? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> it's no, like, that's, uh, that's yeah. Shit it's not like I'm out you, smoking oh, you joints can get, with you Oh, guys. I can get high. Yeah, yeah. no, that's true. That's I, true. I don't have I would, that drive I would just to want to be alone, alone and high all the time. Yeah. yeah. Sam would knock out in the first 10 minutes seeing us. The first 10 minutes that you see us in, after quarantine, you're done. You're out. That's, you're, that's the furthest thing from the truth. You're gonna, bro, you're gonna. We, pass weed the weed fuck is out. like an appetizer for me, bro. I'll stick black tar heroin directly in my ass. Like, what are you talking about? Weed? I grew up smoking. Plug it shit. up, baby. Plug yeah. it up. But it's just, it's not yeah. fun to smoke alone. I, my, I don't speak yeah. cat, so I'm sitting it's here boof. talking to it's my cat. It's not fun to boof high. alone. Is it boof? Is yeah. it called boofing? You could, uh, it's only <laughs> occasionally, you know. Yeah, I yeah. see. I, even, I don't. I wouldn't want to just be high alone all the time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what's causing the hemorrhoids, Cal. You get, what's what? up with you guys in these hemorrhoids? Because it I'm keeps kidding. coming the fuck up. Do you guys got oh, no. this massive? I'm My, good. I'm Cal's, cured. Cal's been cleared. I've been in the. I've been in the, the Lord, battle for the last the few Lord, what, months now. I, I guess. Yeah, man. The Lord has cleansed. I trusted the in the Lord, and the Lord cured me. I just the thing is, I'll I'll, I'll dab a little prep H like once every week. Cal was like prep Hing like five times yeah, man. a day. You gotta for a take it days. seriously, bro. You're I just gotta, what's that's going on? How do you guys have hemorrhoids gotta, so much from sitting? 36 years man. old, man. Almost You're 36, 36 years George? Old. In October, in, in a couple Fuck. Of months. Where are we going for your birthday, Medieval Times? <sighs> I heard there's this nice little corner of the couch over here um, in the <laughs> living room. <laughs> Chill over there for the day. Kick my oh, I'm not talking up. about corner? you. Not you. The corner of the couch. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, so so what's up? What do, you guys, what are you guys thinking in the foreseeable future? What, what's the move for you guys? Well, first of all, Friday, I mean, mo- moving FOMO. Wise. Boom. What's up? What's Friends up, of Monsters. Mama. It's going to be so sick. Oh, my gosh. There's so And there's special stuff coming, too. It's going to be so good. Just yeah, stay shout tuned. Shout out to Dela. Sh- Sh- Shining Tuna. The legend. Uh-huh. Sh- Amin. Um, Chris Black. Chris Black. <laughs> Alan oh, Robbins. Chris Black. How Robbins. Fire art. Work. Did I unplug my shit? No, you're good. It's amazing, oh, amazing, did. amazing um, prints that he are did. You guys, <laughs> are you guys staying in that house? I believe we talked. For a little bit longer. <laughs> I, the plan I, was I'm to a... leave soon, but we're, we're kind of sticking around yeah. for a bit. I'm actually I'm about to take off for a bit. I'm not going to be in L.A. for a little Cal's while. driving out, man. Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> uh, end end uh, location will be Minneapolis. Oh, shit. Okay. What are you yeah. just, get, you're just getting out to get with, out? Yeah, yeah. We got a new uh, scenery <laughs> yeah. perspective. I'm like, I'm ex- I was about to explain for him. Yeah, I'm like, it's tell him it's your brother. I'm visiting my brother. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, well, the, I'm gonna be staying one, with him. That's one of the reasons I'm looking forward to going. I'm trying to go pick up Brett, but I don't want to go alone because where's like a, he? He's in North Dakota, so I want to go out there and really like yeah. make make it like a nice little you know little man. That's dope, man. Drive yeah. the country, enjoy it. But I'm also I want to take the ladies somewhere. Terrified in national parks, so it's like really yeah. from bef- from before. Why? Why? I oh, just, just I don't want to go alone. You, you ready to leave? Are you ready to leave on? He this wants weekend? to come back November, so I'm, I think I'll be oh, probably. Okay. I would drive out there at the end of October, maybe spend oh. th- or th- spend um like Halloween out there. Cal, are we gonna do? Down. You want to do an episode from uh, the road? Absolutely. Is I that mean, possible? On the road, that's gonna be tough. Yeah. No, not but on the road. Not on. But the road. as soon as I get to Minneapolis, yeah. Cool. Not on the road. Not, yeah. I'll have everything. Reason, I have, I'm gonna have all the always want to visit. Oh, I thought you meant on the road, like driving. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> no, that's what I thought you meant. I was like, well, that's probably not possible. But. No, Cal, no, yeah, don't. What kind of car do you drive? That's a pretty far drive, right? Yeah, I have an. I have a good car. The Yoder. Yeah. When I, when I drove out here, the back wheel of my car fell off in midnight in yellowstone like just as i was like passing oh, through. oh that, and I'm like dead. there was nobody there and yeah, i just seen cool like story. a story i just saw a family of black bears thank god i was with my, oh my friend god. kevin my roll dog and we had a so all we had was like we didn't have any service either and we didn't want to walk too far from the car it was like our only shelter we had just seen these bears so all we could do is flag people down that like and hope like they weren't like murderers that's literally and, the, like, that's my them, biggest like, fear and they were hoping that please you were come, murder- murderers exactly and i'd just be like please tell somebody when you get into service and please don't like send some maniac back over here to come get us oh that's and, uh, some really cool russian 
couple helped us out a lot. They brought us, they came back. It was like an hour to get to any service. So they had to drive an hour. No tell way. somebody like what the and deal was back. and they drove an hour back and brought us water and they were like, fucking... coming. so that's, that's why really i don't nice want to drive that. a shout out to them bro. Really Hell cool. yeah. yeah that was very cool and the, but they didn't come until like four in the morning thank god we had a we had yeah. a like a thing of wild turkey we just bought so we were like toasted Fucked by up. the time we got yeah, yeah. Dude, oh yeah that's, that's my biggest too. fear though <laughs> doing that shit alone and something like that happens and i'm out there yeah, alone nah. That's no it. way I'm mentally you start yeah exactly i'm, I'm killing like, i'm not even gonna give anyone the opportunity to fuck me up no animal no fucking trucker no jeepers creepers creature <laughs> i'm just fucking ending it all sorry family yeah, no. but like that's it i'm going i agree with you i have i'm going with somebody so jesus i guys. wouldn't like Dude, camp alone I ha- i'd be I, really afraid i mapped my shit out and like i'm still in my apartment and i bought a 15 inch bowie knife like i'm not like <laughs> I i'm wanted terrified to show you, of that. i just got a knife too but i can't find it anymore <laughs> but I, I just bought a knife it's a good thing to have man I also got a bunch yeah, of fire really starters because I'm, I'm worried the world's actually going to end. And like, I want to. Me too. Look, wanna... you're like describing the contents of my room. Yeah. Check this cool thing out that I got. Dude, look how long Cal's hair is, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten long. I'm editing this video. We're putting out a music video on Friday for one of the songs, and I have my long hair. And I'm, I, while editing it, I'm like, damn, I missed that oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a little spark joint, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so That's I got cool sound. I got the um I the back of this, right? It has like the legitimate like flint that you could just do the sparks into the shit. And I'm like, nice. I have, nice. I have three of them. I have them on my work belt. It's so unnecessary. Like I don't need those things at all. Yeah, hey, what is what's gonna know, happen? I don't get, know, man. Like, I've been watching a lot apocalypse. of like the survival shows alone. Like I'm addicted to yeah. that now too. <laughs> well, that's what I'm looking forward to. Like I've been telling, talking to George. There's a whole community of like kind people of preppers who set off on the road. It's like some road preppers, RV preppers, maybe they're called yeah. overlanders. Overland. Okay, yeah, yeah, dude. There's a there's a yeah. Tom Green is doing that with. A, he's taking his podcast on the road in one of those RVs that are modded for like long yeah. adventures. Like, and like, yeah, Sick. it's kind of cool. There's a whole like app. It's called like I Overlander, and you they've like <laughs> marked off all these ca- any camping like informal, formal like whatever campsite and they you put like little me, reviews Rose. it's really Sounds useful rad, it's like a very cool thing that exists <laughs> what if it's all know serial for sure there's though. a place to camp yeah exactly <laughs> just like, like, it's yeah. just like, it's just like a traps. network yeah it's just a network for serial killers to like take <laughs> this is the last thing you hear uh, yeah exactly it's like, and like all the killers, they, they like fight over that. territory they're like all right <laughs> yeah. northern california past uh the okay. bay area that's all that's all i would think about is like who designed this app which mo- which yeah, it's like, oh, I set up fuck. a new, I set up a new stop. I need somebody to come comment on it, say that it's like a beautiful view or something. Yeah, <laughs> and then they just kill you and review it from your phone because oh they have, the, uh, bro. That's what's Ow. freaking me out about that drive that's out. That's a good. Like, that's a good. Yeah. Like the, there's, hey, man. I'm watching you, way too much have, shit. Stay fueled. Stay you hydrated. You have a healthy fear of the. I think I'm gonna road. fly. Absolutely. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fly. I'm just gonna fly. No man, I'm gonna fly, bro. Too, man, it's I, my pa- if this I is literally someone... my parents. My parents are like, we're we're not. I'm like, let's drive somewhere. Let's do some shit. I mean, they are in Miami, but even if I'm like, I'll meet you in fucking Georgia. Like, what can we do? They're still. They're just like, I know. No sé si puedo hacer eso. They're like, they're just. Oh, they're like, we're not gonna drive more than fucking three. Is their hours first language like Spanish? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. I'm a, yo soy hispanico. I'm a Latin boy. I mean, I know that, but I didn't know like your first. Oh language yeah, yeah. Is Spanish. Truly, up? very Hispanic. Um, oh shit. My la- my first language Cis-panic. is Hispanic. Ooh. Cis-panic. Um, Spanish. Spanic. Yeah, my first Spanish, but it was very well, very together with English. But yeah, that was my first language, Spanish. Um, mm. kind of like Charlie gets everything in in double dose. I feel bad for her sometimes because sometimes we're like, Mira, it's good for her. Bubbles, yeah, the, burbuja, bubble, and she's probably like getting these this bombardment of like. But I think I think she's probably like give me one word, one word. Like. I think learning two languages <laughs> promotes brain activity way sooner. Like, well, yeah, I there's a lot of there's a lot of data ass. on that that it's good. <laughs> yeah, because she's it, a it, smarty dude. Yeah. she's a smarty pants. She's been pulling yeah. some funny shit lately. Yeah, she's hilarious. Bro, I can't I can't mm-hmm. even understand like I'm I'm. I, I worry about this fucking cat 
it's giving me so much anxiety. And I'm like, I couldn't imagine if it was a human. Oh I my would, God. Bro, if, if I will be right. the most overprotective father, like I can already see it. You gotta just, I don't know, man. I keep telling myself like, don't do, don't become that. Cause I feel like I'm all, I already like, I'm already like always like, Oh no, don't. Hey, what's up? Joe. Ah, ah. He, she probably hears that all day. He's, she's probably like, God damn, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's like one another is, one, bro. One more know. time, you know, and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking poop right here. Like, yeah, I think it'll be different when she, I once she can like, cognitively <laughs> respond to. She's like, starting to do some shit, which she is wants great. To, but she's like, starting yeah. to, like, at least like with like activities, she'll be like, now she's saying no, like her mom. So she goes, no, 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 no. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked, bro. I'm like, oh, I, I was telling uh, Cal was there last night. I was like, wait a second. She got the shit from you. And we're like, we just sat there for a second. We're like, oh, she's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, for come on. No, 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 no. I'm yeah, like, she yeah. stays saying that shit to me all day. <laughs> that's fucked. Oh, Hello. Shit. Welcome to marriage. Yeah, right. You're married. I should get you married. Married. Oh yeah, Shout you are Vicky. married. I love you. I love you, girl. Yeah. I mean, you guys got things it. are. You guys got things it are deep right now. Things are deep. Charlie's oh, I, out yeah. here. I think it was you. You shared um on your Instagram story her post about her making those custom shoes. Yeah, so she's a Whoa. she's a cobbler. She's a well, no, she's not a cobbler. Sorry, she's <laughs> she hand Swain. makes leather shoes. She 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 hand makes it's a leather Swain. shoes. Yeah, and they're like heels to, from heels to wingtips to like that's fucking all, nuts, all sorts of like old school. Uh, yeah, I don't want to miss say it, but it's like very old traditional style. Yeah, but very that's crazy. quality. That's such like a it's trade. quality and yeah. a half. It's ridiculous. That's she one of those like, things where like in the new world you can totally serious like i can make everyone really nice shoes what's good keep me alive yeah. you know it That's takes some time but yeah yeah, she does it's like yeah she'd be doing it for the rest of her life it, even if it was just a small town like but yeah she i mean that's what she does and she i don't know she's she's she, she makes all craft. sorts of shit yeah she yeah, she's she makes all sorts of clothes craft. she was doing set design out here in hollywood for a while which she like it's amazing how she kind of just like stumbled into it basically but she gets herself into some really dope opportunities. It's cool. And she's very creative. She lets it she lets it show. She's good, man. But yeah, those shoes yeah. are dope. Very yeah. dope. Vicky, Vicky Dean Checo. Check it out. V-I-C-K-Y-D-I-N-C-E-C-C-O. All right. Well, boys, what do you want to do? You want to call it here at the 45-minute mark, or you want to push forward? What time is it? It's 9 o'clock. 9.03. Oh, shit. I missed it. I've been up since 5 a.m., so I am exhausted. Yeah, we could call it, bro. This is it. This is, this is, it seems like, you know. <laughs> well, we also haven't really all spoken in a while. It's so good it's times, like, though. It's, this is, yeah, yeah no. kind of needed, too. This is more of a filler sure. episode. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a real point. Uh, Wait, we, there's, the others aren't filler. <laughs> that's true. Bro, the world's exhausting now. It's like, and now with the politics and the election coming up, it's I don't like, even oh, want to. Dude, yeah, I del- I'm going to tell you something. This is hard for me to say out loud. I turn my Twitter notifications off because <laughs> I, I just can't. And I love Twitter so much, man. I love Twitter so much. Damn, dude. And I just yeah, you were can't. telling us there was some drama. It's, there's nothing negative. And it's like, it's one of those things where I, I'm still doing this fucking Zoom therapy shit. And it's like annoying. And she's like, you got to stop looking at your phone because it just pisses you off. And then your day's ruined. And I'm I, like, I'm, I can't I'm, escape it. I'm addicted in the worst ways. Like, I, mm-hmm. I just like checking it is so stupid. It's the stupidest yeah. shit ever. Like, wow. I treat Instagram like I treated goddamn like, I don't even know what when I was it's like, what? Like oxygen? The fucking like dude i mean nothing like this is just new phase like of, some of living, addicted like. video game yeah. yeah it's like i'm checking yeah. my phone every fucking yes no, that's, so that's one like, thing that's helped me this past new. week is all notifications <laughs> off yeah i turn my shit on silent when i go to bed like uh good. Call, calls and airplane stuff. mode or whatever well no, i just uh the um like the moon you tap the moon and it's like do not disturb night mode, mode. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 dude and honestly i am sleeping yeah because when i don't do it i always think in my head as i'm like closing my eyes to go to bed i'm like someone's gonna text me let me check 
and I'll <laughs> check it. And it's like no one texts me. I'm just like doing it. I know what you mean. Routine. It's just a, it's just a, yeah, a tick. Yeah. Yeah. So I did but that. I, and something happened. I don't check my phone anymore. I used to be like, I could like, bing, like I would wake up for a text. I was really like easily woken up. And I don't know what it, if it's just I, I'm sleeping deeper or what, or maybe I don't know what. But I can't. I don't wake up for anything on the phone, bro. Not anymore really? at all. Nothing, yeah, unless you see. call me like three or four times in a row, and then I'll be like, "Huh?" And that's if it's next to me. I, bro, I don't even fucking. I just leave this shit wherever now. Like, I don't yeah. even charge. I suck with it. Kind of like is my also my defense mechanism for it. Like, I'm like, this is the only chance I get a break is if it True. dies on me. <laughs> that's it. That's one thing I'm learning now is because I was so connected to my phone for work where it's like, I got to send emails from my phone. I got to call people. I got to call like nine fucking people a day. It's nonstop. Now dialing back into what we're dealing with now. It's like, I don't have that. Those 16 hour days don't exist anymore. So I can actually, but I yeah. haven't up until like maybe a week and a half ago. So we'll see. We'll see y'all next week. So. It's hot as fuck in this bitch, bro. Bro, I'm you guys so, got central air? What? I need my AC. Nope. I need that central air back. I'm not going to go back to Miami, but I need that central Dale. air back. <laughs> All right. So Dale, go- mi gente. Everyone be safe. Have a good week. Love you guys. You safe. See y'all Love, in a Stay week. up. Friends Holler. of Monsters, Friday. Herler. New music video. Paparazzi. A&T, I love you. Dale. <laughs> <laughs>